it is uh, Friday afternoon uh, after long two days of uh, very intense conversation and, and learning and sharing and we just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for that. Um, we will we'll be closing very quickly um, just so that we can move on with our evenings and uh, but I would just like to take this opportunity for, on behalf of the um, of the government of Alberta to, to thank CIC for the organizing and for co-organizing this uh, this summit and for the opportunity to uh, to really fully engage uh, with all actors within the settlement uh, sector to to move this uh, conversation forward. So, and I've had a really great opportunity to work with uh, with the advisory committee. I just want to thank them personally as well uh, for their commitment and dedication to making this event a success. So, thank you to them. Thanks, Mark. So uh, in closing, I, I simply have a, a very simple question for those of you that are in the room. Uh, I was involved with the last national call for proposals for CIC in the priority setting process, and I wasn't enamored with it, so I lobbied long and hard for a, a uh, more engaged, uh, more thoughtful uh, process to get us a wider consultation. Uh, and the result of that, I think, is summits across the country. So I'm simply curious. You'll have your opportunity on evaluation forms to let us know if you think this was a good use of your time. But just so I know, and I can answer this question when I get asked later tonight on my drive down Highway 2, uh, I will, of course, pull over to answer the pin. I won't uh, do it while driving. Uh, by a simple show of hands, do you think this was a good use of two days of your valuable time? Okay. That's really good to know. Thank you very much. We really appreciate the effort uh, that you put into this. Mark cautioned me I might get a resounding <laughs> no, and I, I should like, be Do prepared for that. Do you really want to that. ask that question on a Friday afternoon when you're holding them there before you leave? So, Christina is going to come up and say uh, last few words. But your job as participants and, and your role at helping us define priorities moving forward is not entirely over. As we mentioned at the beginning of this, there will be a draft version of the report that comes out a couple of weeks from now that Gayatri will be writing desperately um, very quickly. You do have the opportunity to circulate that to your colleagues who are unable to attend the summit uh, in order to get kind of a broader perspective to make sure that those priorities really do reflect uh, what you as an organization believe needs to be put forward. So I strongly encourage you not to think you've done your job, you can go home happy now, uh, having impacted how this works. There's one more step that I think is quite important, uh, and it's engaging your colleagues in your organization to look at that draft report and provide the feedback to ASA that they might need. Uh, and I also would like to thank everyone involved in organizing this, as well as you. So Christina? I did prepare a lot of notes but John and Mark told me I only had two seconds. <laughs> so I'll try to be very brief. On behalf of ASA, I would like to thank CIC for engaging the community or bringing us all together to engage in the discussions and to inform the next call for proposals in setting settlement priorities. This has been great. You asked the question, people responded, it was worthwhile. So thank you to CIC. Now getting, okay. And getting 250 people together is excellent. And we have people here from different walks of life. We have service providers, we have policy makers, we have community leaders and everybody else that is connected to settlement was here. That's excellent, that's really, really good. Because it kind of creates a synergy which can bring about positive change in our practices as we save newcomers. Now, I actually have a confession to make. When CIC said they were going to ask ASA to plan this event, and then they said, we are not paying for people to come. I was really scared. I didn't think people would show up. Because we are used, maybe because I come from the settlement sector or non-profit where we always expect them to pay for us to come to events. So I was really skeptical. But seeing so many people come out to attend the conference, 
it just confirms, or the summit, it confirms the commitment and the concern that all of us have for the success of immigrants in our communities. It also confirms that it takes a community to successfully integrate newcomers. So thank you so much to all of you for coming, even though CIC didn't pay for you. <laughs> and uh, well, I, I have to thank John and Mark. You guys did an excellent job. I was also afraid, I thought, mm, these bureaucrats, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you, you know, you did an excellent job. We need people like you to keep people on their toes. So thank you for the great work. And I also have to say thank you to the Director General. She's not here, right? Diane Mikkelsen and Nita Jolie for gracing us with their presence. I know they are busy people, but they managed to come. And I also want to thank all the CIC staff that have been here with us all the time. I also want to thank the staff from uh, our Better Jobs Skills. Yes, 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 that, yeah, yeah. Who knows what are they are going to be called tomorrow? I don't know. So anyway, so that's good. I really appreciate that. And I would also like to thank the advisory board. It took a long time, a lot of conversation for, for you to come up with the program like this and to come up with the, uh, the summit like the way it turned out. So thank you to the board, to the advisory board. And ASA staff, I think I would like to ask them to stand, please. Thank you. You guys did most of this work and see how it turned out. I know how apprehensive you were thinking, I don't know if it's going to work, but it worked. So congratulations. Thank you. You are becoming pros at doing things very <laughs> at short notice. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I think I would be failing my duty if I didn't thank everybody that is here today. This would not have happened if you didn't come. So thank you to each and every one of you for coming and being part of this and sharing from the bottom of your heart or maybe from the top of your head, or, but for sharing. It was remarkable. I sat in, in the conversations, very lively conversations, and I think there's a lot of information that has been gathered. So thank you and safe travels. <laughs> <laughs>